Thank you for choosing my channel to create this ephemera from household items. We're going to create a spine embellishment from a baby wipe, a pocket from a toilet paper tube and magazine page, and an altered paper clip from a bottle cap. For those of you that are new to junk journaling or that might ask what is ephemera, it is the things that exist that we kept hang on to or was created to be enjoyed for a short time, like a letter or a ticket stub, etc. I like to think mine will last a little longer than that because I'm putting them in journals. So here are the things that we're going to create today. But first, let me tell you a little bit about me. My name's Peg. This is my channel. I call it Two Old Crows Mixed Media. I like to create process videos that are kind of short, to the point. I enjoy journaling. I enjoy to journals, creating journals, from Coptic stitch binding to regular binding. I'm learning in caustic wax, and there's a lot of things on my channel in that medium, and there's a lot more, from altar playing cards to ATCs to all sorts of stuff. If you like that, come over, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and you'll be notified when I upload additional content. But let's get started with number one, utilizing the bottle caps to create an altered paper clip. The first thing that I wanted to do was kind of hammer those paper or those bottle caps down into this flat surface that you see here. So I put them on my steel block, use that ball peen hammer and just hammered them. Now I'm going to coat them with some black gesso. So I have them all flattened out and I'm going to coat them front and back with the black gesso. Once dry, I have this gilded wax that is the tarnished bronze, and I'm putting it on my finger and just going around the outside edge to show the relief in those caps. And when I push those down, I made sure that the little ridged edge was on the top and that it was being displayed around the outside area of the one side of that bottle cap. And you can kind of see this here as it becomes more illustrated with that bronze wax on it or with that gilded wax being rubbed over the top of it. Once I have those all complete, I'm going to choose what to put in that center. And I've gone to my scrap bin or have gone to my scraps and pulled out several pieces. I'm just using my three quarter inch hole punch because that worked out perfect size to put inside the center of those. This is a piece of mamagami that was left over from another project and it was a little too thin to put inside that punch and I kind of bogged that punch up so I set it aside and I pulled out my template and I'm just drawing some circles and I will cut around those. So we're going to pretend like I wanted to show you two ways to get that circle. But uh, in reality, I messed up my hole punch and I had to do some work on getting that um, thin paper out of that punch to make it functional. So I've glued those into place in the center. This bottle cap, I cut the inside a little too, sh too small. So I have gone around the outside edge of it with an, my embossing pen, laid some mere gold embossing powder, and I will just set that with my heat gun. So I'm just trying to fill that little outside edge that I left by cutting that too, too small. And yes, it is hot when you hit the, those bottle caps with the heat gun. So those are complete now. And I want to pull out some fabric to lay behind them and adhere to the paper clip. So I have this old tea towel that I rust stained and some muslin that or cheesecloth that I haven't worked yet. So it's just white. I'm tearing that tea towel, rust stained tea towel, into little squares. And I will cut a little piece of the white cheesecloth to put on top of the muslin behind the bottle caps. So I'm just lining them up until I have what I think looks good and I'm not going into any dimensional cutting and just tearing and utilizing what what happens happens. So there we go. 
Now all four of them are ready to be glued down. I'm using glitter glue. I put a little bit of glue on the tea towel and put the cheesecloth down and some glue on the back of my bottle cap on top of the cheesecloth. I'm going to turn that over and let those dry well before I work them again. So I'm turning them over to keep the glue from seeping through the fabric and gluing itself to that sheet of paper that I have laid out there. So now I have this um, direct mail piece that I received that I'm going to use to adhere these to the paper clip. I'm going to cut it into about three quarters of an inch to an inch width and I want that to be black. So once again with the black gesso, I'm going to cut strips for each of the paper clips. So we have four bottle caps, so there will be four strips of paper, black gessoed front and back. I'm going to lay some gold paint onto my gel press and with a bottle cap I am just going to Go across this. Now if you don't have a gel press just lay some wax paper down and spread your paint out or spray your paint out on an old glass frame, whatever you have um, to spread that paint on. After I put the bottle caps on I took an old hotel key card and made some lines with that. Now I am going to put it on and I guess I didn't paint these front and back black gesso them only on one side so I kind of retract that previous statement and we'll, we'll correct that here but I'm folding it on the paper clip and then I will just glue it in place now some like to glue their decoration on the short side some like to glue their decoration on the long side of the paper clip honestly whatever your preference is both work I like to glue my decoration on the long side because then I have that um, rest of that long clip that I can decorate with something else if I choose. I've done it the other way as well but for these I did wrap that black strip around the long side of the paper clip and then the short side will come out to attach to the the book. I hope I'm making sense, but I think you get I think you get my drift. I'm just going to clip that into place and let that dry and finish finish the rest of these. Now, for two of them, I chose to add a little dangle onto the bottom. And on two, I've put little charms and I left two plain. Now, I may go back and add charms to the other two, but I'm not sure yet. So now let's move on to number two, creating that pocket from a toilet paper tube and a magazine page. So the first thing I did was took my bone folder and really got these laid down and formed into that pocket shape. As you can see, I also cut one of the paper or toilet paper tubes into half, but we're only going to work with this bigger one in this video, but the same process applies to all. So you can make them tall pockets, short pockets, whatever size you want to create out of that toilet paper tube. So I've just squished it together, taking my bone folder and really defining that fold on either side. I cut, used my uh, half inch circle and cut a little uh, divot out of the top of that to create the entry to that pocket. And now I'm choosing a magazine page and I'm going to choose it for color. What type of color can I get to create this piece of mamagami? So I like this little harvest picture right there. And I think that will create some nice color. I'm tearing off the just the print section of this paper. And I'm going to crumple it up. And I'm going to crumple it up first and get it really crumpled as I'm grabbing for my bottle of coconut oil. So I have it all crumpled. I'm going to unfold it, put some coconut oil into my hands, and work that paper over and over. So I'm going to crumple, unfold, straighten out, crumple back up, 
unfold, straighten out until that image kind of disappears on that magazine page. And as you do this, this process is called um, mamagami. This Japanese process, mamagami, is the art of kneading paper. It's a paper, paper making method that utilize some starch oh, along with the oil to create the strength in the paper. I am just utilizing coconut oil to get my paper uh, undistinguishable and more fabric-like or get the image undistinguishable on it and more fabric-like. Once I have it into that form, I'm simply going to glue it with some Elmer's glue and water mixture, or my homemade Mod Podge, and I shall glue that down and trim it up. And this, this method, this method of mamagami, or the method of kneading paper with a little bit of coconut oil, really creates some interesting texture out of that magazine page. The image on the magazine page becomes undistinguishable. And if you want to see it used in other things, I'll put a link here for the altered composition notebook that I did. And I used this technique for the cover and kind of collaged with it. So you might be interested in that. So I'll put that link here. I'm just getting this glued into place. And I'll let that glue dry, speed it up just a little bit with my heat gun. Once that is dry, I shall trim it up, trim around that divot hole where I created for the pocket opening, glue the bottom of it shut. Now, the other thing that I have done is once this was dry, I stuck it inside an embossing folder and took that off to my embossing machine to create this relief that you're seeing on the piece now. And I think that represents it incredibly well. It, just running it through, for some reason I lost that section of my video, but it's just putting that inside an embossing folder and running it through my embossing machine. And now that I have that, finalized, I'm just going to further illustrate or decorate with this Art Deco pen in gold. And I punched it down to get it nice and fluid and then splattered. And now I'm going around the outside edge of the pocket. And I have these tags that fit perfectly. So these are just purchase tags that fit perfectly. I put a two-tone gold and black on them, and I'll splatter on those as well. And I painted front and back on these, but I didn't think it was necessary to go through that process. So now that we have them good and dry, I'm just taking a black Sharpie, and I'm writing the word hope across the front of that. That will fit down in there very nicely. And I have this nice burgundy uh, seam binding that I will loop through that hole of that tag. And that is going to complete the pocket from the toilet paper tube. And once again, you can make these, you can divide these tubes into different sizes if you so choose and create the smaller pockets and do two or three of them on a page. Utilize this pocket and uh, I'll show you in my image what I intend to do. I intend to make it a free floating pocket that I am going to attach with one of those bottle cap paper clips that we created. So there is the completed pocket with a little tag that goes down inside and this can be a journaling card or anything. So now let's move on to number three that spine embellishment from a baby wipe. And many of us use these baby wipes to clean our gel presses, to clean up after ourselves. So let's make use of them. I have put some turquoise down on my gel press. I'm going to come back in with a little bit of purple. 
and I'm not getting fancy. I just want to lay down some color, a little bit of cold, a little bit of gold, turquoise, and purple. Lay that baby wipe down on top of it, and I've just put the sheet of paper over to keep my hands clean. And we'll pull that up, and it puts color on really, really easily that way. So I've done it a few times just to get that good saturation of color on this baby wipe. You can use the baby wipes that you've been wiping up with. You don't have to start from scratch with the baby wipes. And once I have enough color laid down on there that I think we have a nice colorful little um, strip that we can create out of that baby wipe. I'm gonna cut it into strands And I'm not measuring, I'm just eyeballing and cutting. And I'll put, hold all those together and I am just going to staple them into place. And I'm going to take one of the strands and wrap around the top, but before I do that, I am just going to knot each of these. I'm just tying a little knot into each. And once I have that knot tied, I'm going to come back with, I have a bunch of these little gears that I have, I don't know where I got these, but I have so many of them. And I have these little gears and these little discs that I must have ordered in bulk at one particular point in time. And I'm tying those onto the end of these strands and kind of pulling the strand. This will stretch a little bit. So I'm pulling that fabric and kind of stretching it and pulling it. Now I'm going to wrap around one of those strands around the top and knot that off to create my little top knot there. And now I'm just putting a bulb pin or a little bulldog clip on the top to attach it to the spine of a book or the spine of a journal. I'm trying to figure out the best way to lay these two in place. But I think if I <clears throat> attach my bulb pin to the top knot here and then attach the bulb pin to the clip, that works. So we'll get that done. And that completes number three the spine embellishment from a soiled baby wipe, if you will. So there you have it. And all of the little items tied on and wrapped around the top. And here's just a close-up of those little pieces of ephemera that I have. The altered paper clip and the pocket from the toilet paper tube. hope you enjoyed and thank you once again for choosing my channel and for spending time <clears throat> with me. I have put a, another video here that uh, YouTube thinks you might enjoy seeing so I'm going to leave that up to YouTube and your browsing history to see which of my other videos you might enjoy. So once again thanks for stopping